The urinary system removes nitrogenous waste from the blood so that it does not accumulate and become harmful. As blood moves through the kidneys, the kidneys filter nitrogenous waste to form urine. Urine is composed of water, salts, and acids. Urine then leaves the body through the ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. Each day, the kidneys process about 200 quarts of blood to filter out two quarts of urine. The kidneys are also responsible for maintaining the proper balance of water, electrolytes, and acids in the body fluids. Electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium, are small molecules that conduct an electrical charge. These electrolytes are necessary for proper functioning of muscle and nerve cells. The kidneys adjust the amount of water and electrolytes by secreting some substances into the urine and holding back others in the bloodstream for the body to use. The kidneys also secrete hormones such as renin, which raises blood pressure, and erythropoietin, which stimulates red blood cell production in the bone marrow. The kidneys also secrete calciferol, an active form of vitamin D, that is necessary for the absorption of calcium from the intestine. Kidneys are further responsible for degrading and eliminating hormones such as insulin and the parathyroid hormone from the bloodstream. The process of forming and expelling urine starts with the bloodstream. The blood passes through the renal arteriole to the glomerulus. The glomerulus is a tiny ball of capillaries. As the blood passes through the many glomeruli, the thin walls of the glomerulus permits water, salts, sugar, and urea to leave the bloodstream. These materials then collect in the glomerular capsule, a tiny cup-like structure that surrounds each glomerulus. Attached to each glomerular capsule is a long, twisted tube called a renal tubule. As water, sugar, salts, and urea, and other wastes pass through the renal tubule, almost all of the sodium returns to the bloodstream through the tiny capillaries. This is the active process known as reabsorption. The last process in the formation of urine is the secretion of some substances, such as potassium, acids, and drugs, from the bloodstream into the renal tubule. The urine from the renal tubules leads to the renal pelvis, a basin-like area in the central part of the kidney. The renal pelvis narrows into the ureter, which carries the urine to the urinary bladder, a muscular sac that temporarily stores the urine. The urine exits the bladder and travels to the urethra and then to the urinary meatus and exits the body.